Hey everybody, welcome to the ranch. It's Vlogmas day 20. I'm sitting here in front of the fire with my fire worshiping dog. Um, we started a fire this morning it was in the 40s and I think it's only gonna get to a high of like the mid 40s today, upper 40s. So we are getting warm in the house and then we're gonna go outside and work on some animal winter prep. We've got to be prepared for this cold, cold freeze that we're about to have. It is going to be in the teens and actually possibly single digits by Thursday evening. So we are gonna go out there today and the kids are gonna help me. We're gonna bundle up and we are going to work on getting the animals pens ready for this really really cold weather so stick around and i'll show you what we're doing to prepare for that but first here is the fire i've got rolling i'm getting ready to shut the door but i've got joy sitting here enjoying enjoying the heat you like the heat yes you do don't you she loves the fire now not like winnie loved the fire where she jumped on top of that thing but she definitely likes sitting in front of the fire and staying warm. Are you a Texas dog? You like the warmth? Yes, you do. She's not built for the cold. We're not built for the cold, are we, Joy? She will literally lay right here just to stay warm. Won't ya? All right. Time to close that and get ready to go outside. Are you serious right now? <laughs> We're gonna close that so you don't get burned. Crazy dog. Do you like the fire? Yes, you do. She's gonna stand right in front of it. And get nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, crazy. Literally in front of that fire. You're so silly. Nice fire rolling. And this fan has been amazing. It has really, really been helpful. And I like the thermometer we've got there, so it kind of keeps us Gives us an idea of what range we're in. Yeah, these are some really hand tools to have for your wood burning stove. All right, I'll let you be and then we'll go outside and take care of the animals. So one of the ways we are getting ready for the really cold is making sure that everyone has hay as well. So we are gonna have to, Eric is gonna have to put hay out here. There is no hay out in those hay rings. And so I'm actually gonna walk out there in a second too to check the protein tab. But first, I'm checking for eggs. Looks like there's no eggs in the chicken and the duck coop, I mean in the turkey coop. But I'm going to have to clean out the inside of that because it's kind of gross. And I'll get some fresh shavings in there today. So we're gonna put fresh shavings in all the different coops to make sure that everything is nicely bedded down and cleaned up real good so that way they have nice fresh bedding for when it gets really cold because you just need that warmth to help you and it's supposed to get really cold so let me go check on the protein tub now for the cattle so you can see you can see where our last hay bales were before we've got an empty ring there and an empty ring there check this protein tub and see what it looks like Ah, oh, they've got a half a tub at least. Looks like that's pretty good. And Eric takes this and strategically puts the protein tub in between the two hay rings. So both of those hay rings look basically empty down to the end of it, down to the very bottom. Looks like they're gonna need hay next door as well. That bale holder right there, or that is right there, empty and ours is empty too. So we're gonna get some hay out here this evening when Eric gets home. And uh, that way they got they got everything they need. So look at all this hay they just waste. Just, oh, hay is so expensive. Oh, anyway. Uh, we did find a turkey egg in the feed shed where we keep the feed. I'm really excited about this grass. This grass is gorgeous, but it's just so, so low to the ground. It's just so new. The cows aren't really able to eat it, but I'm really happy how green it is. It's just so pretty. Look at that green grass in December. Awesome, I love it. It's like fluffy grass. So, all right, time to go back 
and start putting extra bedding down in all these places. I'm gonna clean this out and leave it open first. And I'll come back and put some fresh stuff in here for them, because it's gross in here. Gross. All right, so we've got the turkey, the turkey boxes. A couple of them were cleaned out real good. Some of them were cleaned out a little bit and then just deep bedded, kind of deep bedded that one. Uh, there was a lot going on, so we've got to get moving. So we've got these four turkey beds locked up real good. Well, we're gonna close it up now and we've got them situated for the cold. And now we can go and take care of getting the rest of it taken care of. We will go ahead and move this tonight when Eric gets home. We're gonna move this so they have fresh, uh, fresh bedding. Oh, Simeon, go take those golf balls and put them back in there, please. So we'll get them, we'll get this moved so that they can have fresh area. Look at these holes. Oh my goodness, we gotta fix these holes in there. And they'll have fresh grass tomorrow, um, by tomorrow, for tonight anyway, they will. They'll move it tonight. That was way pushed down. This is already eaten down, so. All right, let's go back and take care of anything else we have to take care of. Okay, so let me clean out this mess. It is literally a mess in here. I'm gonna finish cleaning this out. I'm wiped. We normally throw it into, we normally throw it into the four-wheeler, but today I just threw it on the ground. This is all of it so far. It's gonna dry out today and then <coughs> <coughs> over the next 24 hours or so, chickens and ducks will actually go through it and scratch it around and make a nice little mess over it. I am going to go put a bunch of this pine bedding in there and hopefully it'll be nice. I am worn out. <coughs> I am worn out. It is a lot of work. I've got some of the kids in the garden getting some stuff out of the garden that's in there because my frost blankets are in there still from a while ago. And then we're going to get the duck coop situated with those. So I'm gonna throw this shaving right here. <coughs> I'm gonna throw these shavings, not only in this chicken coop right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the top of my duck pen as well. So they have nice warm petting for them. So back to work. Woo. Okay, so I get all that taken care of and I've got the bedding pushed through there. There's definitely some spots that aren't super clean, but it'll be working. It'll work fine. Fresh bedding in the two nest boxes. I really can't wait to get in here and spring clean this whole thing out. But for now, this is what they got. And then we'll put hay on the ground over here. But I did put a bunch of extra bedding material up here. Some of this actually, none of this was damp. It was just some old hay and some old scrap stuff that was there. So I just left that because it really wasn't that dirty. Um, it was mainly just actual physical dirt, not poop really. So I just went ahead and put all the bedding down there for the chick, I mean for the ducks. So we will go ahead and throw some hay down underneath Mom, it here later. Thing we can do? Come yeah. on. All right, what do you got for me over here, Elijah? What did you find? Apparently Elijah found the mega, the mega pile of roly polies out here in the garden where we've left the freeze blankets because, well, because we got sick after the last really cold snap, we got sick. And so we basically left all the blankets yeah, out here. Yeah. They all left? But they're all over here. They're literally all uh, roly -poly. Roly -poly. Hopefully you put that in the water, bud. Roly polies. They're gone. I took too long to come. Oh, here's some. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, let's see. The mega pile of roly polies. Yeah, time to get some of my stuff cleaned up in here. It should have been cleaned up a while back. It's actually 50 degrees today, which is really nice. Didn't expect it to get this warm, but it did. So that's really exciting. And so, yeah, I'm happy about that. Look at all that green growing. So cool. Then my Muscovies are over here. Hi babies. Hi babies. How you doing? Let me go over there and get some kale before it's bad. Before it freezes. Look at that beautiful collards or mustard. I think that's mustard greens. I go over here. See how my kale's holding up. Look at that kale. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. That is a kale plant from 
the spring. It's looking beautiful. I'm gonna have to grab some of that tonight or tomorrow before it freezes. So pretty though. I like it. That's just old broccoli stems. It's kind of neat though. So that's another thing we did was bring extra firewood up to the front. So that way we have a fresh batch of firewood. We'll do this twice more probably before it gets really cold. We'll also be filling up the four-wheeler and bringing the four-wheeler up into the garage. So that way we have four wheel, the four-wheeler is out of the barn right there. And that'll give the cows more room in the barn to spread out and stay in there for shelter. Um, they have shelter around the sides of the barn as well. And they can go up against the tree line back there. But they're definitely going to need some shelter from the wind. Much more than what some of the, I think, the tree line can offer. So the barn should be a good safe place for them. Especially some littler ones um, with the wind as bad as it's supposed to get. So that should be it for this afternoon. Oh, they just left buckets out. Buckets are rolling around. I'm tired. I'm going to go inside and sit down for a minute and get a drink of iced tea and then see what else we got to do. Well, oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to can the you vlog. Stop. This is the end of it. Stop. Okay. Oh, in conclusion. No. Okay. So, so it's the end of the night. <laughs> he keeps messing with me. Um, I am, we are going to get our food, sitting down with some spaghetti so we had spaghetti. he's not eating spaghetti he's having left be leftover ground beef casserole we are cleaning out the fridge tonight because we have got to get things ready so that we have room for leftovers from the weekend matter of fact we need to get leftovers for turkeys eric turkeys <laughs> um stay tuned because we're going to put a video out soon of um one of the ways we cook our turkeys for the holidays but right now i'm going to wrap up this blog vlog i'm going to wrap up the vlog day 20 and um, I'll be back tomorrow with some other content. Eric's got some stuff he's doing tomorrow here on the ranch. And we're going to get more prepping for this big cold spell we're going to have. Because it is going to get really cold here. No, it's going to get really cold here. It's going to be like 10 degrees. That's really cold for us. So that being said, I'm going to sit down with my warm spaghetti um, and go sit in there. You know, one of the things that I like to do is I love to can my leftovers, but I didn't can the leftovers this time with spaghetti. I made this spaghetti sauce like over a week ago. Well, no, just about a week ago. And so instead of canning it right away, I just left it in there. And so I didn't want it to go to waste. So I went ahead and just made it tonight for dinner and it's almost gone. So that's good. So Anyway, have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your, what is it, Tuesday? I don't even know what day it is. Have a great Tuesday. I'll see you guys on tomorrow's Vlogmas. Um, hey, who likes making sure you're cleaning out the fridge, getting ready for holidays? Farmers do. And farmers' wives do. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>